zero order reaction means that the rate of the reaction is a proportional to zero power of the concentration of the reactants i got considering the reaction the reactant is giving the product so rate is given by minus of d of r divided by dt minus indicates it is degrading to give this one so k into r power 0 at any quantity raised to power 0 is unity you got k into i is nothing but constant of integration The rate of reaction is directly proportional to zero power of concentration. This is zero order reaction. So d of r is equal to minus k into dt. So integrating both sides, you will be getting r is equal to minus kt plus i. At t is equal to zero, the concentration of the reactant r is r0, where r0 is the initial concentration of the reactant. Substituting this one in equation here, you got R0 is equal to minus K into 0 plus I, which indicates R0 is equal to I. So, substituting the value of R0 is equal to I, in equation 1, you got R is equal to minus KT plus R0. I'm trying to show you a 3D of uh, the potassium surface. This is how the potassium surface is. It's a bit of shiny, right? It's good to see the potassium surface in a three-dimensional view. This equation indicates by plotting it, you'll be getting a straight line y is equal to mx plus c. We plot r against t we get a straight line with the slope minus k and intercept equal to r naught here. Further simplifying the equation too, we get the rate constant k as k is equal to r naught minus r divided by dt. Zero order reactions are relatively uncommon, but they occur under real special conditions. Some enzyme catalyze the reactions and reactions which occur on metal surfaces. A typical example of zero order reactions. A few examples of zero order reactions are the decomposition of ammonia, gaseous ammonia, and a hot platinum as a catalyst is a zero order reaction which gives your nitrogen and hydrogen. The rate is given by K of NH3 power 0 which is K. In this reaction platinum metal acts as a catalyst. At high pressure the metal surface gets saturated with the gas molecules. So a further change in reaction condition is unable to alter the amount of ammonia on the surface of the catalyst making rate of the reaction independent of its concentration. The thermal decomposition of hydrogen iodide on gold surface is another example of zero order reaction.